All right, here we are again. I'm just going to give you a little walk around of my blacksmithing leg post table. And I've got a couple questions about uh, the piston it's mounted on. It's uh, kind of an interesting piece, and uh, I don't know where it's from. I think it's out of the marine diesel, like probably World War II vintage. But uh, it's a little odd, and I've got a couple questions, and I'll show you around the table. All right, here we go. All right, here's the double leg vice table. Lots of tools hanging around the outside there, supported by the top of the table, which is bolted into the top of the piston. The bottom support is toe clamped onto the piston, so I didn't have to butcher it, because it is kind of a neat piece of history. The monkey wrenches are super handy for bending stock, not damaging it too bad, because the flat jaws are super easy on your material. But the monkey wrench, with the handle welded onto the fixed jaw is super handy for twisting stock and material. It's almost a must-have. Bending forks of tons of different sizes, super handy. And one of the best tools is this. Just angle iron with some round bar welded to it of different diameters. You just put your stock in between the two, you slide them together, you clamp the vise, and you can bend away and make very consistent bends. And if you have some of different diameters, it really solves some problems. And a pipe wrench with a handle welded onto the fixed jaw as well is, uh, or pardon me, the movable jaw on this design is super handy for uh, bending round stock, grabbing onto round bar and then numerous other wrought iron tools that came out of a Vancouver foundry that uh, more blacksmith shop, super old, well, old for our neck of the woods in this young country that we're in. But uh, that is the leg vice table, small, compact, got a lifting eye in the middle, so it's quite maneuverable. You can sort of manhandle it around the shop and quite compact. All right, I got this out of a wrecker type place, scrap yardy type place. Definitely a diesel cylinder piston here. The top was cooked out of it and blown through. So obviously why it was changed. But down here, you've got a, an annular stepped piston. And if you work out the displacement that this annular piston would have, it's the exact same displacement Per length of lineal movement that this would, same volumetric movement of air. So I'm pretty sure this was for scavenging on a multi-cylinder, most likely a marine diesel engine for where I'm, I'm at, but you tell me. So that's all I got for today. That's uh, my blacksmithing leg post table. Super versatile, doesn't take up a lot of real estate, somewhat mobile, and you can pick it off the eye bolt on top and fly it around where you need it. Um, it's not a bad unit, it's got some history to it. And if you guys can uh, maybe help me figure out where that piston's from, what it's out of, uh, that'd be super appreciated. Just leave it in the comments down below. Thanks.